you bought the perfect pair of jeans. They fit just right, they're super comfortable, and you feel like a million bucks every time you put them on. The problem? You've washed them so many times that that rich, dark indigo color has faded. And now, yeah, they just don't look the same. They don't look as good as they used to. Don't worry, gents, I've got you covered. To get started, you're gonna need two buckets or two containers capable of holding four to five gallons of water, a bottle of black dye, a dye fixative, a measuring cup, salt, gloves, and tongs. You'll also want some old towels or plastic to cover your workspace and make sure you're wearing clothing that you don't mind getting stained. Now, I know what you're thinking. Antonio, I want my jeans to be dark blue. I want them to be indigo. Why on earth would I use black dye? Shouldn't I at least buy navy or something like that instead? You would think so, but navy dye won't darken the jeans enough. It'll just create a strong blue color. You see, there's blue dye in the jeans already, and the black is just gonna darken it back to the deep indigo. Now, if you do want a more pronounced blue look, that's cool. Just make sure that you've got one part navy dye to two parts of black dye when you're putting this together. Now, to get the best results, it's important to know what kind of material you're working with. For example, some dyes only work with natural fibers like cotton or linen. Synthetic fibers like polyester or nylon use a different type of dye. Now, most jeans are 100% cotton, but some jeans do contain synthetic fibers like spandex. If you have stretch jeans, know that this dye process is not going to darken them as much as it normally would if they were 100% cotton. To get started, you want to fill the container with about three to four gallons of hot water. Don't fill it more than 70%. You want to give yourself room. Remember, you're going to be adding the jeans and you don't want to have that water that's got the dye splashing all over the place. Now, you want to use the hottest water your fabric can handle to get optimum results. So, for cotton jeans, you want to use water that's between 140 and 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, normally you can't get water this hot from your faucet, so you're going to need to heat the water on a stove or a kettle. Now, make sure to read the directions on the back of the dye you're using. Many times, they're going to tell you exactly how much water to use. In this case, three gallons is what I'm being instructed to use. And the rule of thumb in general is you want enough water in the container so that the jeans can freely move throughout the bucket but still be submerged. And make sure to put on your gloves. While most dyes aren't harmful, they can be a pain in the backside to wash off. Next, add a cup of salt and mix it in until it dissolves. This will enhance the color. And don't forget to add a teaspoon of dish soap. This is going to promote even dyeing. If it's a liquid, make sure to shake it. For the particular dye I'm using, four ounces of dye is recommended for three gallons of water and a single pair of jeans. Now take your jeans and dampen them before putting them in the bath. Yes, you're going to get it wet. Why? Because it's going to help the fibers more easily absorb the dye. Now submerge your jeans, making sure that they're evenly covered. Use your tongs to stir the jeans to ensure even results with no splotches. It's important to stir slowly but continuously for the first 10 minutes. Now for the next hour, you want to continue stirring every five minutes, letting the jeans sit in the dye. Now that you've done the hard work of dyeing your jeans, it's important to make sure the color sticks. Now you want to fill up your second tub with three gallons of hot water, again about 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Now you're going to add a dye fixative. The brand I'm using recommends four ounces with three gallons of water. Add the fixative to your water and make sure to mix it thoroughly. Submerge your newly dyed jeans in the fixative bath and let them soak for about 20 minutes. Throughout this process, you want to stir them slowly every few minutes. Once 20 minutes has passed, let's pull out your newly dyed jeans and let's rinse them. To do this, put the jeans in a sink, preferably one made from stainless steel so you don't have to worry about any color bleeding into the sink itself. When rinsing the jeans, you want to run cool water over them for a few minutes to get rid of any excess dye. Now, how long exactly should you rinse your jeans? You want to rinse them until the water runs clear, which shouldn't be more than just a couple minutes. Now, if you're looking at your jeans right now and saying, oh my gosh, they're darker than what I expected, don't worry. They will lighten a bit as they dry. Now, this next step is really important because we don't want to damage your other clothing. We don't want to dye clothing that you didn't intend to dye. So, you want to run these jeans through the washing machine by themselves. Wash them normally, use a mild detergent, and let them air dry. Now, in the case that the jeans are still not as dark as you would like, you can repeat the process and darken them a bit more. If you're new to Real Men Real Style, welcome. Go ahead and join our community by clicking on the subscribe button. Make sure to click on the like button. And if you want to see a video we haven't created yet, let me know down in the comments. And what video to watch next? Check out this video, 10 clothing care hacks every man needs to know. I've got you covered with that video right here. Click on it to get started.